Okay, Warren, uh, that's three on the spin. A very different kind of win today, but this showed what the, uh, the this team's all about, isn't it? Grinding that result out. Yeah, it was. You know, it was a great win for us tonight. Um, they're a decent football inside, but there's no right, there's no way to win games. People should know that. We come here tonight, won the game properly, clean sheet. And as I say, too, it was a tough game. But as I say, they've delighted with the three points. Um, you know, it's a performance where we had to dig in, we had to fight, we had to, you know, show character. And as I say, too, at the end of the day, you'll wake up tomorrow morning with 1 1 now. A word for that defence because the second half, as soon as we got that goal, they were bombarding cross after cross after cross. Miles did very well dealing with that instead of the defence. I've said this, there's no right, there's no wrong way to win football games. You've got to defend, you've got to score goals. We scored a goal tonight, we kept a clean sheet, we won the game. You know, as I said to you, it's good for the defenders to go and, and, and defend because, you know, people get carried away with these wing backs, these full backs going forward. Defenders are defenders, they got to defend first and foremost. And uh, as I say, our boys done that as a team, collectively, individually. Big, big performance tonight and a fantastic win. And it always helps when you have someone like Stephen Payne who can poach those goals at the front, at, at, you know, at the other end of the pitch. You know what, somebody said to me the other day, they're two weapons, and they are, but they've got to get the service from the rest of the players. You know, people's calling us this and that there, I love it. I love it because, you know, no disrespect, the, the oppositions are who we play. In. You know, we, we needed to change the mentality in this place, and we've done it, and we've got good players, we've went out, we've picked good players, players that we think can fit into the, the profile of what we want to do as a club, and I'm absolutely delighted with the, um, the result tonight. A couple of flashpoints, obviously, it, that, that first one of the foul on Stephen Payne and coming together and two benches and all the players. I mean, is there anything you can say about that? For me, sort of... for me, I, I thought the ref was good at times, but 100% I thought he got that um, wrong. I said to him at half time, if he watches it back, it's a clear stamp on Payne. It caused the reaction. If he had made the right decision, it wouldn't have happened, but it was a clear stamp by their player. And you don't want to see any people sent off. But um, as I said to you, I thought in part he had a good game. Mine was, as I said to you, holding the ball, whether it deems to be a red card and I was giving it back to their staff. But as I said too, that's football. Um, but as I said, I'm just pleased with the way the players were. And uh, you know, we'll move on to the next one, another big, big one on Saturday. And of course you had to sort of, well, not watch, but, but <laughs> not watch the, uh, the last 10 minutes. And do you think that that was as a result of the flashpoint that happened earlier because of that? It was sort yeah, of almost so, like a warning I, I, and a red card. I think I'm going to have to check my phone and pay a, a more phone bill because I was on my phone for the last 10 minutes. I was ringing the, uh, the boss, I was ringing Taylor, I was ringing everyone to, to get through to the bench. But I trust my players, I trust my staff. You know, people look at it and say, oh, you know, we were lucky tonight or we done this, we done that. I look at it, we come here, done a job, got a clean sheet, scored the goal and won the game three points. That's the way it works. Don't get me wrong. You know, I thought Epsfleet's a good side. You know, I said this, they're in form, they've, they're unbeaten in three games. Danny's a fantastic bloke, with a lot of respect for them. But that's the emotions I have whenever I was a footballer. I was a horrible player to play against and I played against some of the world's greatest players, believe me. But I never changed who they were. I'll never change as a manager. You know, you look at the top managers, Simone, Conte, Mourinho even, they're on top club, they're on top of the players constantly. You ask him, boys, I'll back every single one of them. But that's just the way I am. You know, my emotions get to me, but I'll never change myself because the day I change myself like that is the day I'll give up football. And a victory like that, well, how important is a victory like that as far as instilling a winning mentality in a team? It's, it's huge. You know, coming at the end of last year, and as I said, I went to Bulgaria. I won a league title in Bulgaria and with top, top players. But I come in at the end of last season, I knew I had to change the mentality. I've played with great players in my life. I've had to change mentalities. And I looked at it here and I thought, I've got to get the right players in this football club to change the mentality of this football club from last season. Um, and I said that there, you know, it goes back to there's no right, there's no wrong way when the football game. You know, you look at the old Arsenal teams, you look at the old Italians, the grinded results out. You're going to have to do it sometimes. The free flow football we played against um, Oxford, you know, and then sometimes you've got to come here. This to me is a bigger performance than that because you've got to come to places like this and get clean sheets, you got to defend crosses, you got to defend shots, you got to uh, score goals, you got to win tackles. I thought we'd done that in the bombings tonight. And just finally, talking about three wins on the spin now, and now it's a different challenge on Saturday in the FA Cup against Fisher, but something you can't take your eyes off because they'll be coming with, with nothing no, to lose. No, no, we can't uh, underestimate anyone we play. You know, Fisher and Saturday have been in these positions before. They're difficult, difficult games. All the pressure's on us, it's a free hit for them. 
we just got to make sure that we're on the on our game. Um, we, we we treat teams with respect, no matter who we play. And Fisher's the same. You know, they're going to come here, and in the FA Cup. You know the old stories of the FA Cup where there's always upsets. We've got to make sure that's not us.